Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today a lot to talk because Bitcoin currently is breaking out from this falling wedge, a very early breakout. So in this video we have to see if this is going to be a sustainable breakout or not because we have weekend on weekend very often we have these pump and dumps where on Monday we're gonna retrace where we closed the CMEs on uh, Friday. So what we're gonna do today is a bit comparing the CME chart with the spot chart so we can analyze if this is a potential sustainable breakout here and we should be gearing up towards 20K and higher in the next couple of hours and days or if this is going to result in a fake out and we will come back down here towards this $18,000 area and potentially fulfill our bearish targets of around $16,000. So here what you see currently is the one hour time frame because yesterday when we had here this rise up we formed here this rising wedge which normally is a bearish pattern and we should have awaited here a breakout to the downside potentially again towards the bottom of $17,400. What happened is that we had this early breakout to the upside so we broke this $19,000 resistance. We came up here towards $19,400 and currently we are consolidating. So what we didn't see yet is a confirmation that $19,000 is the new support so if you want to take this long position then wait here for this confirmation wait that the price is coming down test this $19,000 support and then gear up for the next big move which could in theory take us at least towards $20,000 so $19,900 and potentially even higher. The only problem is that the one hour currently is looking a bit exhausted so we are very overbought here and that's why I think it is very likely that we will come down here towards $19,000 and then have a look here if we are able to get a bounce from it or if we're gonna fall again below $19,000 because in that case most likely we're gonna retrace somewhere again towards $18,000. But now let's go over into the four hour time frame because this is the more important time frame here you can see that currently we still have some room left to the upside and that's why I think it is very likely that with this move we at least go here to test this $19,500 area and potentially even touch here the resistance that we had currently at $19,900. We have some few left to the upside but of course as soon as here we're getting a sell signal or we're getting into very overbought condition I'm expecting also here a possible pullback at least to test the 20 moving average here at $18,400 or even worse or come back down again towards the 200 right here at $18,000 and now if we compare this chart now to the CME chart here you can see that we closed on Friday at $18,115 and here we were still trading within this falling wedge and also below the 20 moving average here at $18,300. The good thing here was that we got a buy signal so we were expecting here at least a little bounce to the upside to potentially test here the 20 moving average or even better here this $18,800 area. So I think it is very likely that on Monday as soon as the CMEs are going to open again that we we will retrace somewhere back down here again and then maybe gear up again to test $19,000. Otherwise, if we're gonna start at these price levels where we are right now, so above $19,000, we will have another new big CME gap down to $18,000. And this one over here down to $17,000 will also be still remaining open. So overall, everything would be looking a bit complicated here and a bit bearish in my opinion, because we would have in theory then created two new CME gaps below of us. But also since we had then this breakout to the upside from this falling wedge we should expect the price to go at least towards $20,000 potentially even higher and what is also very interesting to see is also that if we would come back down again and go below $17,600 we will then create a bearish trend here in the four hour time frame because if we are starting to create here lower lows then things could look quite bearish for the next week. So we're gonna have to see where the CMEs are going to start on Monday. And that's why my friends, if you're still not in a trade, then wait till Monday, wait till the CMEs are going to start again because this is going to be 
very key and there we're gonna see if we will see continuation to the downside or not because as soon as we're gonna create lower lows in the four hour time frame so if we're gonna take out first seventeen thousand five hundred dollar and then this one over here at sixteen thousand five hundred sixty i think we could be entering in a potential downwards trend that will take us at least towards sixteen thousand dollar maybe even a bit below but this would be then the trend at least for the next couple of days and that's why make sure to wait till monday and see where we're gonna have the cme gap opening and also where the moving averages in the weekly rb trading then because this is going to be very key in case that we're gonna have a continuation of the correction and at the other hand if we are pushing just towards 20k and also break it where could be the targets and uh, now we can have a look also into the Bollinger Bands in the four hour because here you can see that we're still overshooting it to the upside and Stochastic is looking very overbought. So here I'm expecting a possible retest of this $18,800 area, so this 19 k area. And if we're gonna have a bounce from it, then potentially to break also this high that we had currently here at $19,400. If we are going again below $19,000, then be prepared to see the price again moving towards 18, potentially even lower towards 17,500. We have currently MACD and KSD still shifted to the upside. That's why I think it is still very likely that we're gonna see this $19,500 to $20,000 test incoming, but it is also possible that here already we are topping out and we could see again the price fall at least towards $19,000. And there we're gonna see if we have support here or not and now we can go over into the daily because here in the spot chart you can see that currently we had a close above the 20 daily and even above the 9 day moving average which of course is very bullish and today we are also confirming this new support so if today we are able to close above 18,770 here in the spot chart it looks like that Bitcoin could gear up here to test again this 20k area and potentially also break it since we had here this cool off of the RSI we bounced perfectly at the 50 level and also I'm getting a buy signal currently here in my own indicator so it looks like that bitcoin is gearing up here to the upside again and we still have a lot of room left to the upside so the daily is looking again very bullish here on the spot chart but now if we are going over into the cmes here you can see that we're still trading below the 20 and 9 day moving average so we had this close on friday below these moving averages and here of course also we're coming down to the 50 level and we should expect a bounce from it but if you look here at my own indicator you can see that the money flow is coming down so that means that we should expect a continuation to the downside and that's why it is very key what is going on next week also here on the cme chart because if here we are not able to close daily candles again above the 20 and 9 day moving average so above eighteen thousand five hundred dollar i'm afraid that we're gonna see continuation to the downside here if on monday we're gonna open up above the 20 and 9 day moving average and maybe also come down to confirm this new support then i think we're gonna have a valid breakout here to the upside which will take us at least towards twenty thousand dollar potentially even higher because if we go back to the spot chart and now open up the weekly time frame here you can see this uh, upwards trending channel that we had previously and if we would see continuation to the upside this will take the price at least towards here this $21,000 area so our previous support could be acting as a new resistance but overall we could see the price going above $20,000 so towards $21,000 before maybe we could see a potential local top and then another little pullback because the weekly time frame is still looking a bit exhausted is still looking very overbought and uh, you can also see that the rsi and also my own indicator are very exhausted so here a little correction at least towards the nine weekly moving average right at sixteen thousand two hundred dollar is very likely my opinion but we're also gonna have to see on monday where this moving average will line up because we're gonna have to update this since we had here another weekly close above this moving average and also the 20 weekly moving average will be slightly higher here so towards fourteen thousand dollar so we're gonna have to do an update tomorrow on these two moving averages and now we can also have a look into the bollinger band in the weekly because this is very important to see where currently the price is right here at the top of the bollinger band and usually when bitcoin is gonna have a healthy correction it always retraces at least towards the first moving average here the nine weekly at sixteen thousand two hundred or down here towards the 20 weekly at thirteen thousand four hundred dollar and that's why i think if 
next week or in the next couple of days at least we're gonna see a major correction continuation to the downside these are the targets you see also that the stochastic is still very overbought and we still have to cool down here a bit all the other indicators are still looking very bullish for the long term so overall Bitcoin of course is very bullish and we will see big moves to the upside also in the next couple of months and years but be prepared that a Bitcoin at any time can always come down to test these two moving averages before it continues the bull run and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and if you want to trade over on bybit or femex bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage use the links that you find down below here to open up an account because with my links you will get some bonus and also you support the channel and if you don't want to trade at your own try out prime xpt because here you have this co-vesting feature where you can copy trade other successful traders so this one for example has over 3000 percent in profits so if you want to put a little bit of bitcoin in it you can just copy trade this guy and also with small money you can do some very nice gains you find also the prime xpt link down below here and of course you are also very welcome to join our free discord trading chat we have a great crypto family over there make sure to join also over on discord and if you want to get my own indicator which gives you buy and sell signals for bitcoin i have a live stream but also you can get the code then make sure to contact me over on discord all the links are down below here so thank you very much for watching my friends and have a nice weekend bye